to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back today. So today's video is going to be a um, sort of recreation of something that I've already done. So basically the look that we're doing today is this exact look. So this look is the look I did for um, a shoot for Oyster Magazine. Um, I put this all over my Instagram, but if you, if you guys have not seen it, I'll put a link down below. Um, it was, I was in the magazine, I did like a bit of an interview, so there's an interview down below if you want to read that, that's kind of cool. Um, but this is a particular look that I did do, and I put this on my Instagram, and everyone was like, oh my god, this better be a video, where's the video, I need a video, oh my god, where's the video, and I hadn't filmed a video, so I thought I'd better sit down and film a damn video. So that's what we're doing today, it will be a tutorial, and I'm going to be speaking through it. Sorry, I've gotten a few comments of, like, of my past few videos that I speak really quickly, so I'm trying to slow down, because I do speak very quickly. Um, so, yeah, it's obviously very like Pat McGrath, John Galliano, Dior inspired, heavily. It's probably like my favorite, favorite type of makeup ever. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy it. So that's why I did that look in the first place, but I am going to recreate it today for all of you guys, and I hope you guys are excited. I'm gonna get my life sorted here, get everything ready, and then I'll be back, and we'll get into it. So I'll see you guys in two seconds, bye. Okay, so I did this quite a while ago, so I'm just trying to like remember exactly how I um, did it. But we're not going to cover the brows. We're going to leave our natural brows. We are going to go straight in with our foundations. This Krylon paint stick. Um, what I kind of like about this look is that it's not really perfect. It's better if it's not so perfect. Um, it's like very sort of not quick, but sort of it's got that nature. Like it's a little bit, um, it's like sort of like a painting. So it doesn't have to be super, super blended or anything like that. It's, it's, it's almost better if it's a little bit um, sloppy. At least I think so. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my white TV paint stick because this look is very, very pale. Um, and we're going to use this to conceal, but also to kind of highlight and get a lot of white in there. Blend that out. Okay, so that is literally it. So we're just gonna set that really quickly. Probably just gonna go in with my air spun. Just had a complete mess up just then. Went in with a big brush and there was black shadow all over it. Oh, the absolute worst. That's why you gotta keep your freaking makeup station clean, which I do not do ever. It's always a bloody mess. Why don't I have any of my brushes here ever? So if you can see, it's kind of like big, like gray, black mark there. I'm just really, really sorry, but I just completely fucked it up. But I think we're okay now. No idea what that is. All right, let's go with a bit of setting white um, baking powder. You guys know the drill. This is just the Krylon setting powder in white. Put that pretty much all over because again, we're trying to keep it pretty white and pale. Oh my God, so much of it isn't in my eye. So I'm gonna go on with the, new, uh, the Kat Von D Satan Sinner palette. I'm gonna take this dark sort of red color here um, and we're just gonna go straight in with a bit of that to dive for all of you. 
Oh my god, like I need to clean this up. This is such a mess. This is just insane. And we're gonna start this straight in the eye. So we wanna go in pretty heavy to begin with. And we're really gonna bring this out. And a huge part of this look is bringing this shadow up into the top of this brow bone here. Because we're going to change the shape of our eyes, eyebrows to kind of be pulled up a little bit. So we want to kind of follow all this up and back out. color it's called rosary it's a bit of like a more pinky purple follow that on top same exact places so as I'm doing it on top I'm also sort of subtly just slowly bringing it down the bottom it's very very blended so I'm sort of using two brushes I'm using a smaller one and just a big fluffy one with nothing on it to just blend out those edges. Okay, let's move on to some darker colors. I'm going to continue with the Satin Silen palette. Take a bit of this purple and really focus this in on this top bit and the outer corner. And sort of slanting that down quite a bit. orange color. It's like a really sort of dark browny orange on my brush and sort of place that in between the purple just sort of randomly underneath quite a bit as well. Okay now I'm going to go in with black. Black up here. Straight over the top of that purple to really darken. That's good. But it's gorgeous. Alright, it's cool. So we have like the base shadows down. Now we're going to go in with like lots of pigments. Because these looks were very, very highlighted in like lots of different colors so i'm going to mostly use a lot of the sugar pill loose pigments and like sugar pill loose eyeshadows like pressed eyeshadows those are by far the best but first i think i'm going to go in a little bit of um this fake makeup forever palette a bit of gold just to kind of highlight and like put down a base to begin with Take this gold, just a little brush. So all over the lid. Kind of wanting it to not be perfect. Like you want it to sort of blend out a little bit. So even like use your finger. Not a big deal. So over the lid and also we're going to come into this inner corner because that was a big thing that she used to do. Okay, also quite a bit under the brow here. Now let's go in with some powders. So we're going to take just a loose brush here and go straight in first with the gold. So this is the Sugar Peel Loose Shadow in Goldilocks. I'm going to place that on top of all the gold that we just did. So these, shadow, these pigments work well um, without like a base, but they obviously work even better with a little bit of a base. See that? It's just like 
blinding people blinding now I might just go in with a tiny bit of this one this is in asylum it's like a dark burgundy red place a little bit of that over there blend them together nicely a little bit of this one this is the new one this is called ghosted so it's like a white but it's got like really nice um uh pink undertones Gonna focus a lot of that in the inner corners here. Kind of bit on the brow bone. Okay, cool. So before we go any further, I'm gonna do a bit of um, liner. We need a lot of black in this bitch. So going straight in with my um, Marc Jacobs highlighter and blacker. Doing kind of a really sort of messy, messy wing here. smudge brush with me and just sort of blend that and smudge that out as we go really cool going back in with a little bit more black just sort of blend it all together gonna actually get rid of all of the powder I think we're done with that all right so let's do some brows real quick so the brows are super super easy um, what do I need that I need something, something. So I'm just going to take a eyeliner here and just draw straight over the top and all the way down. And bringing the tips up. Perfect. So easy. That is literally all you need. Alright, let's do heaps and heaps of mascara. Okay, so those are the eyes pretty much done. Now we're going to do heaps and heaps of um, highlighter. So, get that. Actually, uses just a tiny bit of this loose shadow. Oh, shit. Right, cool. Now, blush. Blush was an important part of this entire process, darling. Just a bit here. So, no contour. The focus was really, really blush, so kind of want to just substitute one for the other. Okay, so I'm going to take the Sugar Pill Strange Love Liquid Lip Color and just lightly place that in the middle, finger. Just blend it out. A kind of a little bit of a process, so it's like a lot of different colors. So we're just sort of starting the process and like laying down the first colors and that. Okay, now I'm going to take the Lamarck Lips Liquid Lipstick in Jolly Molly. Kind of placing that on top. Again, focusing mostly in the middle. Really, really blending it. Doesn't really matter if it comes up and over. It's kind of nice a little bit. I'm going to take, again, uh, Marc Jacobs La Marc Lipstick and Scandal. So it's a little bit darker. Straight in the middle. Now just a tinsy bit of Miss Scarlet. A little bit more of a red. Okay, cool. 
Now straight in with lip gloss. So this is the uh, Marc Jacobs High Shine Hammer Lip Gloss in Boom. Gonna put this on in the middle. A little bit of Cherry Moon, bright, bright pink. Kind of on the outside there. Okay, then just a tiny bit of Rio, so a really light pink on the outer corners. And I kind of want to get to um, be fairly messy, so like over the top. Okay, cool. Now just a really quick little beauty mark. Can't go without that. And maybe another one here. Okay. And that is it, people. So that is a little bit of Pat McGrath, John Galliana Dior inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I really, 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 actually really like how it turned out. I actually like this one better than the original one I did. So that's always positive. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. Please subscribe if you're not. Give give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out um but that is it again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time for another video see you then bye